requires precision, dedication, and skill. Many individuals go to a vocational technical school to obtain a degree in the field. The average salary for a carpenter is around $60,000 annually. Working in an apprenticeship or practicing the trade are great ways to gain knowledge in the field. So, hi, who are you, Clint, and what do you do? I'm Clint Bacon. I run Built by Bacon. I've been doing this a little bit over a year and a half. I've been going here a little bit over a year and a half now. So that's awesome. What got you into this business? The carpentry shop. I came here, uh, came in here one day and I saw like what all we were doing in here and I found it interesting. And, and here about a year and a half later, I'm, I'm running my own business. That's awesome. So what's your favorite part? Favorite part is learning new things. Um, this is not a day that goes by where I don't learn learn something new. Uh, it could be on a laser engraver, CNC machine, bandsaw, drill press, anything. Um, I I I learn something like every every day. Hmm. So, what training do you need to get into this field? So. Here in the class, we have uh, training for all of our machines. We have bandsaw, drill press, uh, glow station, lathe, and um, CNC if you want to get in that. So that's really cool. And what advice would you give to others who want to get into this kind of business? Take the class. I mean, there it, it's so much information that you will treasure for the rest of your life. Well, that's amazing. Thank you, and I hope you have a blessed day. Thank you. So, hello, Mr. Busey. Tell us about who you are and what you do. Well, uh, my name is Mr. Busey. I've been at, uh, this is my fifth year at Philadelphia School. It's my 12th year working in Loudoun County. I teach uh, middle school carpentry and seventh grade math. So, what do you do in carpentry? In carpentry, our main focus is to get students uh, certified in a wide range of tools, as well as being able to turn pins, uh, bowls, make cutting boards, work on the CNC machine, uh, different things like that. Our, our introductory class provides uh, students with kind of a gateway into when they get to high school to where they have some more specialized parts of instruction, but this is uh, sparks their interest early on. So, what projects have been your favorite? Um, so, independently, some projects that I've done, I did a lot of furniture stuff that I've been really proud of and enjoyed. Um, so I've turned some nice pens and bowls and uh, different things like that. I, I've also really gotten into lately due to my students actually getting me interested in uh, work with uh, laser etching and things like that and getting uh, better at that. I've done some things that I'm really proud of. As far as the class goes, um, I'm, I'm proud of some of the projects that we've done, like with the thin blue line plant pens for our Loudoun County officers. Um, some of the uh, turning and things that they've done and then watching some of the students who started out in here now uh, running their own businesses and being able to be profitable off of the skills that they've learned here. Mm. So what would you say to anyone who wants to go, to anyone who wants to go into the carpentry field? Um, anyone who wants to go into the carpentry field, carpentry field is very easy to get into as long as you are able to consult with someone who can get you started on a project that won't overwhelm you and you get burned out and make you feel like you can't do it. Um, woodworking is a very ca scaffolded skill, meaning you need to smart, start small and master that before moving on uh, to more difficult and complex things and uh, don't have any issues with failing because that's where you can learn and start to grow. When you make those mistakes, you learn how to fix them and, and, and go from there. I started working, helping a family, a related family member who had been in contracting and building many, many years ago. I worked part-time while I was going to college and working on helping build a house. And uh, then I worked on uh, renovating uh, 
uh, an old farmhouse that, uh, that my brother had bought his, his father-in-law and well it, it was my brother's wife's father and her grandfather were both contractors, builders, and I worked with them for several years, and that really helped me gain a lot of good carpentry experience, as well as taking a wood turning class from a man in Memphis that had gone to England and studied under a master wood turner and was teaching the bowl turning and gouge type turning rather than just scrapers and skews. Well, in the first 25 years of my woodworking, I was doing the carpentry, remodeling, building, and also had custom woodworking a couple of businesses doing that and I enjoyed really all the aspects the I really enjoyed the shop environment people I enjoy creating and the advice that I was given many years ago when I decided I wanted to pursue woodworking, I talked to a, an older gentleman who had been doing it most of his life, pretty much like I have done. And he said, he told me, well, Bob, it's really pretty simple. You just get out there and, and I learned a lot by working with older people that had experience and that working with people that have experience is very very helpful that's you you, you have one mouth and two ears so if you use your ears and you listen and pay attention that really will help you learn a whole lot about whatever you're interested in.